Reasonable doubt isn't just there to protect defendants and our clients, it's there to protect the jury. And if you can get them thinking that way, most people will take that decision fairly gravely. Because as soon as they walk into the door, the prosecutor's attacking reasonable doubt as a standard. Most people, when they're making decisions, even if they're buying a house, they're gonna get a house inspected, they're gonna be looking at it, it's got problems in the foundation, they're not gonna say it might have problems, it has problems in the foundation, and I'm not gonna buy that house. They make decisions based on how serious things are. And if you can get them thinking that this is your client's life and they've got to live with the decision, this isn't some trivial matter. If you've done a good job picking a jury, if you've done a good job during the trial and you've done a good job advocating for your client, and most of you will, most of them will take it pretty seriously. And if you can point them to reasonable doubt being there for them, it can help you and go a long way.